myself professor uday annapure today i will be talking about the non thermal processing this is something the new area some of the processes are still under research but definitely some of the processes are being commercialized we all know about the thermal processing thermal processing we are using to process and protect the food where heat energy is being used for the processing and protection that's why it is called as a thermal processing what is the basis for the thermal processing is either to inactivate the enzyme or to kill the micro microorganisms because these two factors are major spoilage causing factors and hence we process it for inactivation of enzyme or killing of the microorganism of course every coin has two sides the thermal processing is also having two sides there are lot many advantages but at the same time there are some disadvantages we have not we have cons not considered because we don't have any alternative till time but now there is an alternative we can use the non thermal processes for achieving the same concepts and the same results what is non thermal processing if you see the thermal processing inactivation of enzymes and the killing of the microorganisms the basis for this is the protein denaturation so is it possible to denature the protein by some other means without heating and that's what the non thermal processes process comes in picture because we know the certain properties of the proteins where the proteins can be denatured not only by heat only but apart from heat there are other methods like pressure change in ph and many more alternatives are there so if we can use those alternative it becomes non thermal process the simple example i can cite here is a high pressure processing where you are we are using the extremely high pressure to kill the microorganism or to inactivate the organ, uh, enzymes obviously likewise we have another method called as a pulse electric processing where the electric current is being supplied to the system in the form of pulses so that electric current is having the charges so same thing the micro the cell wall of the microorganism is also having the charges so that gives the effect to kill the microorganism by a means of increasing the pore size and killing the organism there is some one another method is a cold plasma processing where we are using the low temperature low temperature means all these methods are basically at room temp works at a room temperature so that's why it is called as a non thermal process the advantage of non thermal process is to protect the nutrients as well as to protect the heat labile constituents of the food systems which otherwise we would have lost in the thermal processing that's the unique advantage of non thermal processes thank you